What's up, everybody? I am going to do a quick test for those of you that use the Beofing radios. I know we do at CCRT. And so I figure this is a test that might could help out some other people as they're trying to figure out which models to get and not to get. Obviously, one of the big problems we have is we're in the water a lot. And so pretty easy to fry a radio pretty quick, especially if you have to unexpectedly get in out of a boat or anything like that, like our team experienced the last time we were uh, in a rescue. So uh, I went ahead when I got back, we burned up a couple of different models. So when I got back, I searched and found the waterproof model, which is the, the Baofing UV 9R Plus. I don't even know that I'm saying Baofing right, but I might be. But anyways, I've got this bucket of water down here. Uh, that's full where I was soaking a lot of our wetsuits and uh, boots and all kinds of stuff. So it's still full of water. We're going to open it up, toss this in, see if it works. You know, if not, then we just burn another radio. Just one of many. Let's get this started. <clears throat> now I do have my other, one of my older guys here, the UV 5RTP. Uh, they're both in the same frequency. We're going to use that as well to check it. But open this bad boy up. I actually still have some boots in the bottom. So you can see about how deep it is. It's about a uh, foot and a half, 18, 20 inch or something like that. Brand new UV 9R Plus. Why not drop this in the water and just see if it still works? It says it will. Who knows? Uh, let's do it. That's pretty much what all of our radios looked like the last time we were in Florida. So it's on the bottom. I don't know if you can be able to tell on the screen or not, but uh, signals all light up and seem to work. I doubt you'll be able to hear it. Check, 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 which not that I fully expect to, but I figured I would just test and see. Check, 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 check. Not hear anything under the water, but that's okay. That's really not what it's made for. Obviously it's not a dive radio, so. Uh, it's been down there for a couple of minutes. We'll let it sit a couple of minutes more. I say it's been, it's been in there for about 60 seconds. We'll let it sit for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back and check it. All right, at this point, we've let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna set my UV5 RTP up here on the wall and we'll grab it here in a second. And as I'm looking down at it, it still is turned on. I'm still seeing the frequency. So the screen is still working at least. So. Let's go ahead and pull it out of there and see if it still operates like it should. Oh, the water's cold. All right, here it is. This is just a, I mean, I guess, you know, in case you want to see it, this is the one that I pulled out up here. There's not like a secret one hiding or anywhere. There's no video magic here. It's still dripping water. Uh, so first thing we'll do is see if it'll transmit. I've got my other one sitting up there. Check, 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 check. Hello? It does. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's still transmitted. So we'll set this up here now and let's see if it'll still receive check 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 uh oh that may be our problem check 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 one two one two make sure it's turned up it is up it's saying it's receiving check one two check one two check one two one two one two one two check 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 so hearing it but i'm not hearing it very well so let's see if it's just because there's so much water Try it again. Check one, two, check, 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 check. Right there made all the difference. All I did was kind of blow out the speakers. And so aside from, you know, water sitting over the speakers, which is understandable, it does seem to still work like it should. Check one, two, check, 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 which is great. Now we're going to go ahead and take it and we'll just make sure the keypad still works. So I'll go to one of our backup channels. Yep. Everything there still functions. I can still listen to the FM radio. It's a set of 95.5 WSM. Uh, swap back. Flashlight still works. Good. So, all functions. I mean, we'll make sure it turns off and back on. It is off now. And it's back on. And it seems to be working, so... All right, guys, there you go. You've wondered if this one's waterproof. I know the uh, a lot of people talk about the UV5s and the 8s and different models, and I can't remember the, all the different models at this point, but how some people have better luck than not dropping them in them, but most of the time that's not the case. And so to actually have a true 
waterproof radio that's going to work when I need it to is nice. Only downside is, you know, water sitting in the speaker ports. Just blow it out real quick. Um, but at least you still have a good transmit out, even uh, if it is covered in the water still. So, guys, hopefully that answers some questions. If you got any other questions, I don't know what to tell you. Message me. I'll do another test if I need to. Sorry, my left eye looks jank. I don't know what's happening. Somebody noticed this today in a meeting, and it looks like my left eye is about to fall out of my head. Maybe it's the Rona. All right, guys. I'll go inside and deal with this Rona real quick. I'll see y'all later. Bye.